hey guys welcome back to the channel so today is friday the 27th barely like just barely it's about 11 20 gotta bring you over here it's 11 20 and i did laundry you see i have like clothes hanging off my chairs over there and it is like really late and i'm up cooking some collard greens and I don't know why I don't I don't know why like I was laying in the bed I was chilling I was doing my own thing and then I was like mm, I still have those collard greens in the fridge let me go ahead and cook them before they go bad so that's what we're doing I look really busted right now I have my twist in my hair which is what I want to talk about while I cook these greens now, I don't want to brag. I'll put you right here. But I do think I make some of the best collard greens ever. And it's not my own recipe. You just have to look up Emerald Lagasse's Southern Greens recipe. So, um, I'm going to talk about cooking greens while I talk about black hair at the same time. So, I'm going to tell you what you do first for your greens. You start off with a big pot and you put um, some bacon in it. I use like four things, four strips of bacon. I cook that a little bit. And before it's done, I then put in some onion. And that's what's cooking right now. I already chopped some garlic on another cutting board. Not the one with the bacon. You don't cross contaminate like that. Um, and I'm doing that. My greens have been washed. They're in the sink in a colander. And um, I clean my greens in vinegar water. So that's how I clean them. And you scrub them like dirty clothes and get them clean. Okay, back to the topic I want to talk about. Why is my hair like this? I went to the salon today. If you saw the vlog from yesterday, you would know that today was the day that I needed to go get my hair colored. And um, just like mid-year's hair color appointment, I had a vision. And I wanted, next year I'm probably going to go longer and like grow my roots out. So I wanted like ombre hair. And that, like every strand, not just highlighted. And so we did like chocolate roots and then caramel and then it's still blonde kind of on the tips. Even though she put some color on it, give it two weeks, it's going to be gone. So anyway, I'm in the salon. It's an Aveda salon. I always go get my hair colored at an Aveda salon. I love Aveda um shampoos and conditioners and the science and the plant-based of it all and there are black women working in this salon there is diversity um spanish people mexican people asian people but there is no one in the salon that can style my hair so i have to leave looking crazy every time Every time and I'm so like I don't know why but today because I had things to do after I left the salon um, they had kind of scheduled me for what they call a rough dry and I I'm putting my garlic in now and I communicated to my black colorist that I did not want a rough dry now this is a beta. They have a color, they have a curly line called Be Curly. And so I said, instead of just rough drying me, can you curl, can you style my hair curly? And if you style my hair curly with the Be Curly line so that I can go and run errands after this. She was like, oh, no problem, blah, blah, blah. So she colored my hair. We'll see when it dries what I think of it. I can never test my hair color or I can't gauge my hair color when it's wet because it always looks darker, right? So anyway, she puts like this 
this amount of product on my hair. Now I know I just cut seven inches of hair off this year, but you guys, I still have a lot of hair. And the amount that this black woman put on my hair, I felt disrespected. And then I was like, they didn't teach the babies about my hair in school. Is that discriminatory? Okay, so pause the story. I'm gonna season this onion, bacon, garlic mixture. So I start off with black pepper, red pepper, and a little salt. And I like my greens pretty spicy, so I put a lot of red pepper. Okay. And the bottom of the pan is gonna be like coated or whatever. And all you need to do is not worry about that because we are gonna scrape them little bits up with Emerald's secret ingredient. He has a few secret ingredients actually, but beer. So this beer is what you gonna Grate the bottom of these bits up with. Yeah, so we just scrape that up. And then we put another ingredient. He has his molasses. And I'm not measuring today. Like I said, look up Emerald's um, recipe. I'm not measuring. I'm just eyeballing because nobody's going to eat these greens but me. It's almost like you're making a little baby roux. For your greens okay put in a little more salt pepper and then i put louisiana hot sauce and them like i said i like spicy greens and my fire is like on medium and i just kind of let this cook and then i'm gonna get some chicken broth actually i'm gonna use vegetable broth um, I bought a lot of these from when it was Thanksgiving. So is that discriminatory? These people go to the Aveda Institute for however long. They go through all these courses and they learn nothing about styling our hair in its natural state. Like, honestly, not even in its natural state because some people in there, I'm going to tell you right now, couldn't even detangle my hair if their life depended on it. I'm putting some chicken, some vegetable stock in now. I just, I'm just really upset about it. Why? If you went to cosmetology school, please tell me what did you learn about coarse hair types did they give you a nappy headed doll to work with did they give you a tamika doll like here's barbara here's sarah here's isabella with her ways and here's tamika no tamikas i'm just one i'm just wondering why is it that i have to leave out with wet crazy looking hair literally today i just i was like oh no i can put the product in my hair after she gave me this much product for my whole head and she was just like fluffing it out i'm just like what are you doing i look crazy oh my gosh you guys i looked crazy i looked crazy i kid you not
I just took the bottle of the B Curly leave-in or whatever it was. I have no idea what she was using. And I went to town and I put it on my hair. And it was raining earlier. So, you know, I, my hair was just going to get bigger and balloon even bigger. But, yeah, so that's really what I wanted to talk about today. Now, I'm going to tell you guys, my father already cleaned some greens for me and I, I froze them. Oh, that red pepper is getting in my throat. <coughs> okay. And I froze them, so I already have some greens that's going to go in here. And then I do like to add meat, but not um, any more pork. And I always cook my greens with smoked turkey legs. And, yeah, I already have some cast iron skillet cornbread that I made yesterday in the refrigerator. And so tomorrow, not today, tomorrow, I'm going to have these greens to eat on because I'm a good Southern woman. Apparently with nappy hair that people are not learning about in cosmetology school and I'm upset about it. I think it's discriminatory and I'm really tired of it because when I get my hair colored, I want to look bomb like Barb next to me. You know what I'm saying? Like, she goes and gets her hair colored. She gets her blow dry style, curls, waves. She goes out ready to see her man. And I left out today trying to avoid anyone that I even recognized. I was in Marshall's like, don't know me. Please don't know me. So that's why I came home. I was tired. I ended up just re-wetting my hair because some of it had dried it was like just a big fro out and i put these twists in it and we'll see what i think of my hair tomorrow but is it discriminatory that our hair my hair type is like i don't, I don't know i don't know what to do with that how are they learning how to do everyone else's hair type but mine and Tamika's? And these are black people. How, Sway? How? Yes, I'm big mad. Not little mad, I'm big mad. I'm just saying. Anyway, let me get to cooking my collard greens. Y'all be blessed, okay? Be blessed.